Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have severe weather for today, but we have even stronger severe weather coming. Another potential severe outbreak like we just had just yesterday. Now, we already have severe thunderstorms as well as tornado warnings going out this morning. So, there is a lot of activity, and I think it's going to get stronger as the day goes along. So, let me hurry up and get to the information so you know what to prepare for. And just in the last 48 hours, not confirmed all the way yet, but so far, potentially 26 tornadoes has struck on the severe outbreak that we had over the weekend. Matter of fact, the tornado that hit Roland Fork, Mississippi, they have classified it as an EF4 tornado with winds up to 170 miles per hour. And not only with 25 lives confirmed lost, guys, they have dozens that are injured or are still missing from this obliteration that happened in Mississippi. It was devastation. God bless everyone in Mississippi. That was very tragic. And the damage was unbelievable. When daylight came, they just saw the whole area was obliterated, guys. It was gone. There was a few people that were saved that was in freezers. Even some in closets have made it. But most of the people that's been in this area have seen the biggest tragedy they've ever seen in Mississippi. The restaurant hey, man? Go out here. Tell us how many people have been there? Four. Okay. We're going to go out right now and tell any emergency There's four people trapped in the house. What? So thank you to everyone that went to Mississippi and helped the people in Mississippi because it was very tragic and a lot of people came together to help the people in Mississippi. Thank you to all the rescuers out there and thank you to all the people that got the videos for people to see exactly what was going on. All these videos are in the description so you can go watch them to the entirety. Thank you for Live Storms Media. They truly are the best. I put them in the description of every video I post. Now for today, they have a tornado threat. We have the 2% in the green, the 5% in the brown. We have the 10% in the yellow and a significant severe in this black. Significant severe means at least strong tornadoes of possibly EF2 or greater also. And that's in Montgomery, Alabama, Auburn, Alabama, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, Meridian, Mississippi, and Prattsville, Alabama. As well as the 10% in the yellow, the 5% in the brown, and the green being the 2%. For today, National Weather Service has it as scattered severe thunderstorms will likely occur from central Louisiana eastward across central Gulf Coast states and into the Carolinas. Several tornadoes are possible, including the possibility for a couple of strong tornadoes. A risk for large, the very large hail would probably accompany the more intense storms. And not only these storms, just to update you, we do have another one coming in right around the 27th and 28th. It's going to bring strong winds, also and possible tornadoes to California once again. And this is coming into our central U.S. and we actually have a day four and a day five severe weather outlook for potential severe weather. And this is 15% four and five days away already. And it is going to the upper Midwest and the Northeast and it is bringing some snow with it as well. So for Thursday going into Friday, they have a big 15% risk for severe weather and this is for Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Arlington, Texas. Also for Friday going into Saturday, a big 15% risk, guys. And this is all the way from Dallas, Texas to Memphis, Tennessee, Fort Worth, Kansas City, Missouri, all the way to Tulsa, Oklahoma, all the way up to Illinois and Southern Iowa. There's a big severe weather risk coming for Thursday and Friday. So this is where we go into our second tornado season. So usually it's way less than 100 tornadoes per month. But once we get to April and May, it just booms to almost 200 to almost 300. It just gets worse and worse. So we're definitely going into our second tornado season, guys. And we do have our storms for today. I will go through that for you. But when this system comes in on the West Coast, it is going to bring some heavy rainfall with the winds as well, all the way down to a 989 millibar pressure. Very strong storm. Then when it comes across the central U.S., it is bringing a lot of storms. Building up from the south, going all the way to the Ohio Valley. Now, keep in mind, this is with the Euro. The Euro is not a high-resolution model. But to be able to see such detail already so far away, it is going to be even worse when it gets closer with high-resolution rapid refresh. This is bringing the severe weather. It is bringing the snow. And I think it's bringing another potential outbreak. It's bringing a lot of winds aloft over here towards California as you go through Tuesday. And then when it comes across the center of the U.S., it really booms up. As you go through Thursday and Friday, it just strengthens up and Friday being even stronger. A lot of winds coming with it. And as you go through Saturday, maybe not a severe weather risk in the south, but a damaging winds will carry across all the way to the northeast. This is going to be a strong system. And so far, it's ramping up, bringing 50 to 60, high 60 miles per hour wind gusts 
all the way across the central and eastern United States. And this is going to ramp up stronger, guys. Like I said before, this is far away, and these are not high-resolution models. This is GFS and Euro. So we are going to see more detail as we get closer, but it's already shown a lot of strength. And it's bringing snowfall as well with the cold weather. It's bringing a lot of heavy snow towards the Rocky Mountains, towards the West Coast, towards the Upper Midwest. It's going to be a long strip of heavy snow, and the New England states missing the I-95 corridor once again. But for today, as you look with your cape, your potential energy, you can see it just lifts all the way up, all the way to 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Very strong energy in the atmosphere. These are going to go all afternoon long. And when you mix instability with the wind shear, the significant tornado perimeters, you can see that you do get strong tornado perimeters all the way towards South Carolina, all the way by 1 p.m. Then there's a round two. As you go into this afternoon, it gets really strong for southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, all the way until 9, 10, early in the morning. A lot of severe weather still coming just for today. And you can see how strong these cells are. A lot of these cells will be tornadic as it comes through. A lot of very discrete cells coming through as we go through the evening, all evening long. Purple in there, it could be a lot of large hail also, so be aware. But these are a lot of very big cells, all of them, all spread out, coming all evening long. So I think there will be some more severe weather, and unfortunately, we will hear about more tornadoes today. And you can see next Thursday and Friday as that vorticity comes in, as a big bowling ball sweeps in, look at all these cells that pops up in front of this system, and all those have a great chance for becoming tornadic before the system even comes. So we definitely have severe weather coming next Thursday and Friday. It could go into Saturday, but it'd be a damage and win event, I believe. But so far, when we check our elicity tracks to see where the vorticity at in these systems, you can see that it's all day long across central Alabama, central Georgia, going into South Carolina. Then once you get into later tonight, it starts again from northern Louisiana into central Mississippi. Very strong cells, maybe even a long lived, long track cell right there as it goes in Alabama and Georgia as well. This is going to be a strong evening of potential tornadoes, guys. A lot of strong storms coming your way and a lot of tracks with the helicity values showing there could be a lot of vortice in them, a lot of rise in motion. And today has been upgraded to enhanced as well. You have chances for winds, but you have chances for significant hail coming with those as well. That black is significant. That means two inches or greater as size of limes coming out of the sky. Plus, you have this 30% risk right here. And here's your cities and states down below. Plus, your tornado risk. We have an enhanced section for today, and it is going to be for winds and your chances for tornadoes. So just be aware you have a big risk for today also. Now, National Weather Service has put something out for Mississippi and Alabama. You have a chance of a large hail up to two inches in size, tornadoes a few strong, and damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. That's an enhanced section. In this slight risk, you have chances for a hail, quarter to golf ball size hail, tornadoes possible, damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. And up here in the green, you do have damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour but tornadoes cannot be ruled out. Also for Alabama, in an enhanced section, tennis ball size hail, damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour in tornado or two. Plus in a slight risk, in this yellow, you have golf ball size hail, damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour, plus a tornado or two. And you have the marginal that brings damaging winds and some hail as well. But here's your timings right here. You have through 1 a.m. on Monday morning for the chance for the severe weather through Alabama and through 5 a.m. on Monday morning right here for Alabama and southern Alabama is all the way through 2 p.m. So I'm so sorry for bringing the doom and gloom, guys. Got to bring in the news and the reports as it is coming out. Let's try and bring a little bit of positivity in this video. This is our solar weather station. We've been giving away every other day for a few months now. And we do have our winner from yesterday's video. And we have another one we're giving away for tomorrow. So our winner for today is... Linda Anderson, congratulations, Linda. You are the winner of the weather station. Make sure you contact me at this email, weathermanplustoday at gmail.com. That way I can ship this out to you as soon as possible. Have a great weekend, weatherman. Thank you so much. God bless you, Linda. I hope you do like it. And there's a lot of people out there that's going through a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. It was a very big tragedy. So I'd like to say a little something for you and make you hopefully heal a little bit better with our Lord, our God. Amen. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness 
for his name's sake. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you all. May you have a very blessed day out there today. My heart really goes out to all those that's in this tragedy or know someone that's in this tragedy. It's a pretty big one out there. God bless all of you that are involved in that. I do pray for fast healing and be fully restored with all y'all that's going on because those houses and those neighborhoods are just devastated, guys. It's, where do you start from there? So it's pretty bad. May God be with all of you every day of your life. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sorry, it's hard to amen with invigoration, guys. It's, it's a pretty tragic thing. God bless all of you.